So that's me when I used to live in London, trying to make ends meet as a filmmaker, until one day I saw the light and decided to get rid of all the junk in my life, reducing it to just the things I needed to do what I had always dreamed of, to travel the world endlessly making films. So I said goodbye to my friends and family and set out on my great big adventure. And what I have learned is that when you let go of your fears and relentlessly pursue your creativity in every aspect of your life, the universe will find a way for you to live your dream. Less than a year later, I met my perfect partner on a bus in Thailand, and now we have the perfect baby too. So this is the story of three travelers with one mission, to follow our creativity and keep having fun. It's important when you're traveling to be versatile and ready for the unexpected. It's raining out there. We figured it was a bit, a bit too rainy. We've been walking in the rain all day. What's, what's going on? Yeah, it's a bath. Honestly. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, we're going to stay in a pink bed tonight. Awesome. We're having dinner in style. And we made a friend. <laughs> Check this guy out. <laughs> Just like my Mr. Foxy at home. <laughs> oh, I miss Foxy. <laughs> the next morning, we found a huge court for an unidentified sport and made some very important discoveries. One euro ten for a liter of red wine. Alcoholics heaven! And we found some kittens. The uh, landlady's gone out, so I don't think I'm going to get in trouble. Something tells me they don't get given milk very often. <laughs> they polish that off in like seconds. Oh, love kittens. <laughs> some people and we're gonna camp together as a group Hooray! you appreciate human contact much more when you experience less of it he just smiled he gave me a Vegemite sandwich <laughs> and he said <laughs> morning morning <laughs> what a funny night we um we were up late with international travelers having breakfast Awesome. Ooh, yeah. There are an increasing number of moments in my life when my eyes fill up with tears and my chest contracts through a profound connection to the infinite sea of love that connects us all. This was one of those moments. Sometimes when you sit for a while in nature, the world comes alive for you, always in a beautiful and unexpected way. We love that little waterfally bit so much that we stayed a night here in our tent and we ran out of food so I went picking and look what I found! The most amazing grapes. Okay, they're not quite ripe but the ones that are ripe were like yummy yum yum yum. We've got blackberries, we've got some nuts, we've got some dates. said it was downhill all the way to Pamplona was lying it's not it's not downhill there's loads of uphill bits Hola. We, just. we just hit civilization it's definitely the biggest uh, place we've found yet it's kind of like the outskirts of Pamplona they sell <laughs> this is one big ass wall. It's really big, bigger than the last wall we saw that was big. <laughs> anyway, we're nearly we're nearly there, wherever there is, yeah. in the heart of Pamplona. And we're quite excited about sleeping in a room. Well, I'm just, just having a shower, these. 
Man, those things don't bother me. I just want to take the bag off and be be light as a butterfly again. Yeah. Cool building behind me. It's strange. We've only been in the wild for two weeks, and oh, this fire stick feels good. And yeah, already it feels quite alien to be um, surrounded by these buildings. Don't know if I like it. Although I probably will like it once we're in a nice comfy bed and we're processing the time lapse. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. Today, <laughs> we're in Pamplona Main Square and we're having tea. Well, I'm not. I'm having coffee. Dominica's having a mint tea at Hemingway's. It's not called Hemingway's, but it's the place where Hemingway was writing his book. Which... I thought it was called Hemingway's. No, it's called Cafe Irona. Oh. Well, it says Hemingway on the on Yeah, because the window. Hemingway used to sit here on this table right here where we are sitting yes. and drinking tea, just and like him. This table. He was sitting on this table and he wrote a book where he was talking about the bull running. Bull running. Which is on the street just over there. This is the place where creative juices flow. This is our, the sleepy little street of our hotel that um, yesterday was empty and we wake up this morning on a Saturday morning and it's, um, it's a market street. Fluoride free toothpaste has been acquired. Today I am kitted out, I'm looking like the time lapse ninja that I am, <laughs> ready to go. Just because we're in Spain, and it seems like the way in Spain, we're having AM drinkies and some tapas. <laughs> and um, very happy. Right here, right now, making history, time-lapse history. We are pioneering a new system that I don't want to talk too much about because it's a new system. We've created something, we haven't named it yet. What about Sammy Labs? Sammy Labs. No more time-lapse. From now on, it's Sammy Labs. Sammy Dominica Labs. Anyway, it's going to be awesome. Watch this space. to take you down. down or up, as lifts do. Uh, this one, because the city wall is so high. Um, People don't like going down the stairs. Yeah, there's a lot of stairs. So they've just made not this. Not that many, really. Well, yeah, not for us hardened walkers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, there's the other leg. <laughs> Terribly exciting. Anyway, we're off to see the bull ring, I think. Oh no, what are we doing? Train, Train station. station, we're going. the train. Train. We're going to get some tickets to Barcelona! An old friend of mine had called that morning to offer us a free house in Barcelona for a month, and this was an offer that was too good to refuse. My primary objective was not to walk the Camino de Santiago, but to keep shooting moving time-lapse. Our little Camino taught me many things, but most of all it taught me that a prolonged connection with nature is the cure to a whole bunch of problems that arise from living in our modern world. And I saw too that you don't have to be in the south of France to start walking your own Camino. It's a journey of discovery, both outward and inward, and it has no beginning or end. So this is it. It's goodbye, Pamplona. Pamplona. Bye. Bye. And hello, Barcelona. Although it is a four-hour train ride. And I'm quite sleepy because I was up all night rendering shots and it didn't really work. And Oh, the trials and tribulations of a time-lapse maker. It's tough. Uh -oh, Only few survive. 
someone once said, the world is a book and those who don't travel read only one page. So I focus now on my gratitude that I have finally started to flick through the pages of that book. And I am grateful too that I have no idea what the next chapter holds.